Hi guys, it's Jody King for Hip Kit Club and today I have a trio of cards made with the gorgeous October 2019 kits from Hip Kit Club and I'm creating a card trio that I'm theming around the phrase fall in the forest. So I'm using lots of beautiful tree elements and lots of beautiful fall elements in my card trio today. So as I generally do when I'm making card trio, I've pulled out a few different elements that I want to carry through the design of all three cards. This just helps me when I'm making multiple cards. Uh, I like the way that they look when they all have similar elements that are being used on them, but they all have their own individual, well, that's a big word, individuality as well. Um, so for these cards, I've used, of course, my gold stitching, I've used the trees from different elements from the kits that I've used on each card. I've actually wanted to use a little critter on each card and you'll see what I mean as we go along, but there's some super cute critters, just tiny little forest animals that are different icons in the kits this month and they're so cute. So I've used one of those on each card. Um, what else have I got? Um, a frame. So there's some gold frames in the kits and I've repurposed them a little. I did want to use the frame, but I decided to actually turn them, or reverse them so that I'm using the white part of the frame rather than the gold. Um, and I've used a chipboard sentiment from the kits on each one of the cards as well. So that's about everything that I've used that is the same on each card but you'll see they come out looking very different each in their own right. The background for my first card is really just a lot of layered bits and pieces. I've used two of the different cardstock colors from out of the cardstock kit. Um, actually make that three because I did do some scallop edging as well in the white cardstock and I've torn some of that and added some of the pattern papers as well. I'm just layering all of those together and I'm going to add some of my gold stitching to a couple of the different layers.
Really there's nothing too complicated to the design of this card. It's just a matter of creating some layers on your background and then using the frame element as a base and adding some more layers to the foreground which I've done with the trees mostly. Um, I've also just added a few little extra puffy stickers and that kind of thing for some extra detail um, and really that's about it. I do finish off my card with some splatters using the Lindy's, one of the Lindy's mists from the colour kit this month. That's the October 2019 colour kit and it's the Grab a Guy Gold um, Mist. And I just love how warm a gold this is. It really suits the autumn kit um, and looks really nice with the autumn colours in the kit this month. My second card focuses on more of the blue and green and teal elements from the kit and you can start to see what I mean here with using three different colorways for my cards and the idea for this one again is to use layers but I'm creating a little hillside scene with some of the pattern paper and some of the cardstock from the kits. All of the different trees that I'm using on these cards uh, come from different elements in the kit. So I've got quite a few that I've fussy cut from Paige Evans pattern paper and there are others that come as part of the exclusive chipboard stickers from the October main kit and I've just separated them out into their colorways as well and I'm using obviously the green and blue toned trees on this card here. Uh, I I was happy with how those little hills were looking but now that I use the that dark blue cardstock which is the Typhoon cardstock it really makes the whole scene look like it could be at night out in the hills with the trees all around and when I add my little critter it just looks perfect so um, I'm glad that I tried that dark cardstock in the background. I'm just roughing up my little hills here. I, I don't do that often but I just felt like it needed it here and I'm adding some green ink just to the edges to define them a little bit. Then I'm going to run them through my sewing machine with some gold thread around the top of each of the hills um, and that again just adds a little bit more definition there. I've added some adhesive just to the very bottom of each of those pieces at the moment so that I can tuck my tree trunks in behind some of them and over the top of others and it just gives me room to play with the positioning of those trees and as you can see right here I do fuss for a little bit but in the end I get the positioning right and that's just me I, I do fuss a bit just to get things exactly how I want them.
I love how this card turned out in the end. It's probably my favorite out of all three of them. I think it's just cute with the little scene and um, I was surprised how easy it was to, to make the hills. I haven't done that on any kind of a spread before. Um, and I just love how this one turned out. For my final card in the trio, I'm using all of the warm colors. So I've got the pinks, the yellows, the oranges, all of those iconic fall colors. Um, I'm using also a couple of the card stocks as well as the uh, pattern papers on this one. These card stocks are the Yukon Gold and the Flamingo, I believe. Now my apologies for the lights that are playing across my desk there at the moment. I realise they look a bit weird on screen. Um, what it actually is, is that it's late afternoon when I'm creating this and my craft room gets the most glorious afternoon sunshine pouring in and I do have my blinds shut but some of that sunshine does get through and the blinds are just waving a little bit in the breeze. So that's just a little bit of afternoon sunshine there. Um, it does look a bit weird on the desk, but that's all it is. Nothing too weird happening. Now I'm using this paper, which is from the Pretty Little Studio Indian Summer Collection that was designed by Kim Watson. Uh, this is one of my favorite papers from the collection. And it's actually the paper that they used, or sorry, the pattern that they used on a lot of their packaging as well for the collection. It's just such a pretty plaid. Um, and I've trimmed that down to be just a little larger than the frame that I'm working with as the centerpiece of my card.
After a few splatters of my Grab a Guy Gold Lindy's Mist, um, that's my final card done and all three of them done. I love this theme of fall in the forest for these cards and using the little critters on them um, is pretty cute. That's it from me guys. I'm going to leave you with a few close-ups and thank you for watching.